As you gaze into the vastness of space and witness the twinkling dance of billions of stars, each one seems to raise a silent question that has plagued humanity for generations. Are we alone in the cosmos? Now a groundbreaking instrument has been launched into orbit, the James Webb Space Telescope. This technological marvel works like a powerful magnifying glass, offering unprecedented clarity in revealing the intricate details of distant planets. Recently, the JWST set its sights on a remarkable target, K-21T-B, an enigmatic exoplanet. Initial observations of K-218b sparked a wave of excitement within the scientific community. This celestial body was no ordinary planet. Not only did K-218b exhibit the presence of water vapor, a potential indicator of availability, but it also contained a molecule that arose deep intrigue, a molecule often associated with biological processes on Earth. Could this be the momentous revelation humanity was waiting for, the confirmation of extraterrestrial life? In this video, we'll dwell deeper into K-218b, exploring the scientific challenges and far-reaching implications that could reach shape our understanding of the universe. Let's embark on an investigation of the first tangible image of K-218b. Located 120 light-years away, K-218b is a super-Earth within its solar system, distinguished by its classification as a sub-Neptune. Unlike anything in our own cosmic backyard, this planet is larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune, defying conventional planetary categories. This unique status presents a considerable challenge for scientists to try to unravel the mysteries of K-218b. While rocky planets like Earth and Mars serve as a benchmark for hypothesis building, distant gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn offer tentative comparisons for understanding this distant world. However, sub-Neptunes, which have no familiar counterparts in our cosmic neighborhood, remain an enigma. The data available so far suggests some fascinating theories. For example, K218b boards in the habitable zone of its host star, a red dwarf called K218, raising the possibility that its surface may harbor liquid water similar to Earth's oceans. It is crucial to note that K218b's orbit around its host star is much closer than Earth's orbit around the Sun. While one astronomical unit, AU, represents the average distance between Earth and the Sun, K218b is only 0.18 AU away from its star, even closer than Mercury. This proximity means that a year on K218b lasts only 13 Earth days. Fortunately, K218b's host star, K218, is a red dwarf, which means it emits less heat than our Sun. This prevents K218b's surface from being completely scorched, unlike what would happen if it were so close to our Sun. In fact, K218b's lower luminosity has turned out to be a benefit, as it has allowed signs of vaporized water to be detected in K218b's atmosphere, a groundbreaking discovery that suggests the presence of biological signatures similar to those we would find on Earth. This discovery, which further increases the scientific interest in this exoplanet, is a revolutionary finding that suggests the presence of biological signatures similar to those we would find on Earth. The fact that methane decomposes composes rapidly under solar radiation added even more excitement. The JWST also detected carbon dioxide, a more common atmospheric component. However, the combined discovery of methane and CO2 was very slow. Dimethyl sulfide DMS, unlike methane, is not commonly found in Earth's natural environment. It is a molecule produced exclusively by biological processes. This finding is particularly intriguing, given that K218b orbits a red dwarf star known for its intense radiation and is generally considered inhospitable to life. However, K218b defied these expectations. It is crucial because, on Earth, DMS is only produced from life, mainly by microorganisms in its oceans. It is known to be a reliable biomarker if detected in a planetary environment. As predicted, it is therefore crucial that the planet receives a similar level of radiation and resides within the habitable zone of its star system, where temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist, provided there is a stable atmosphere. K218b could have temperatures comparable to those of Earth, although with an atmosphere dominated 
surrounded by hydrogen, which would make its oceans slightly warmer than those of our planet. The proximity between the star and the planet is such that they could be considered close companions, as this closeness prevents surface water from evaporating. This detail is of great importance, especially in light of recent research suggesting that surface water could be a distinguishing feature of exoplanets like K218b. Stay tuned, because we will soon delve into revealing details about the mystery of the Hyonic world. In 2021, astrophysicist Nico Mattis, known for his possible discovery of DMS in space, proposed a new category of exoplanets in a fascinating paper published in the Journal of Astrophysics. Sub-Neptunes, cradled beneath a thick hydrogen-rich atmosphere, Mattis has chosen to call this work Hyonic, a name that suggests an unknown and mysterious nature. If these water giants exist, they will be radically different from anything we have ever seen before. Although they could be up to 10 times the mass of Earth and twice the radius, they won't be scorching in a furnace of steam. Yes, they will be incredibly hot, with temperatures approaching. What would define them, however, would be an astonishing feature, a colossal layer of water that could represent up to 90% of the planet's mass. This vast ocean, at least in theory, could harbor the potential ingredients for basic microbial life. These dense atmospheres would trap heat from the star, allowing liquid water to exist over a much wider range of distances from the star, compared to rocky planets like Earth. Sub-Neptunes are relatively common, and hyonic worlds benefit from this extended habitable zone. This makes them ideal targets for the search for life beyond our own planet as larger planets are easier to detect from far distances, making them prime targets for our telescopes. Dr. Misudan's team uses the revolutionary James Webb Telescope to observe K218b, a possible alien world. This tool could be crucial in our search for extraterrestrial life, but there is a challenge. Even with advanced technology like the James Webb, detecting these ocean worlds is a difficult task. The key to unlocking the secrets of K218b lies in a meticulously planned observation, requiring a total of five hours divided into two separate observing periods. K218b played a crucial role in a celestial event known as a transit, during which a potentially similar world passes directly between us and its parent star. James Webb captured the light passing through K218b's atmosphere during this transit. The beauty of this technique lies in the unique fingerprint that starlight carries, like a universal language that reveals the elemental composition of the material with which it interacts. By separating the light into its individual wavelengths, similar to how a prism breaks down white light into a spectrum, scientists can analyze this fingerprint to identify the molecules present in the planet's atmosphere. If specific wavelengths are missing from the final spectrum, it becomes an important clue to understanding the chemical composition of the distant world, allowing researchers to form a complete picture of this environment. This is not the first time we have tried to find extraterrestrial life. We already have an institute called SETI, which stands for Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Traditionally, SETI has focused on trying to detect radio signals or other forms of communication from distant civilizations. But with this new discovery, we might need to switch things up. The idea of finding city lights, rather than listening for signals, suggests that we should be on the lookout for other signs of advanced technology. Think about it. What if there are more planets out there, like Proxima b, where artificial lighting or even massive structures could indicate life? This could mark the beginning of a whole new era in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. But it is not just the scientists who are getting excited. This discovery has captured the public's imagination like few space-related events have in recent years. The idea that an alien civilization might be close enough for us to see the lights of its cities is both thrilling and awe-inspiring. People are excited about this discovery. They have been following every update from the James Webb Telescope and eagerly waiting to see what comes next. And honestly, who could blame them? Beyond the science and public fascination, there is also something bigger to think about. The potential discovery of an intelligent civilization challenges us to reconsider our place in the universe. We have always seen ourselves as the top species, the pinnacle of evolution. But if Proxima b really does have intelligent life, we are not alone. 
This realization might change how we see ourselves and our responsibilities as a species, both to our planet and to the technology we create. It is a lot to think about, but it could push humanity in exciting new directions. And not just that, we might also be looking at some threats. How can we prepare ourselves if an alien race does exist just some light years kilometers away? Potential threats. The possibility of an advanced civilization on Proxima b raises many questions and concerns. If these lights detected on the planet are truly artificial, we are looking at a society that has mastered some impressive technological feats. But what can we learn from them? Could they show us how to build a sustainable, advanced society? Or on the other hand, warn us of the dangers that come with rapid technological progress? There is also the unsettling thought. Would they see us as a potential threat? Just as we might be cautious about them, they could be equally wary of Earth. The prospect of making contact with an alien civilization brings up difficult questions about our future, our place in the universe, and how we handle the responsibility of advancing technology. Plus, it forces us to consider what kind of civilization we are or want to become as we explore the cosmos. One thing is for sure, if these lights are real, they could be the catalyst for some serious international cooperation. Studying a planet that's light years away is not a job for just one country. It is going to require the kind of teamwork we have seen with projects like the International Space Station. Many countries would have to come together, pool resources, and share knowledge, all for the common goal of exploring Proxima b, and potentially making contact. This could inspire a new wave of collaboration and space exploration. Now, if there really is a civilization on Proxima b, one of the first questions we would probably ask is how they have managed to survive in such a hostile environment. Remember, Proxima b is orbiting a red dwarf star. Proxima Centauri, which is notorious for its intense stellar flares. These flares can bombard the planet with harmful radiation, making it hard to imagine life surviving there. But if these lights are anything to go by, it suggests that the inhabitants of Proxima b have found some way to protect themselves. Maybe they have developed advanced technology to control their atmosphere or shield their cities from radiation. Heck, they might have even adapted biologically or technologically to thrive under such extreme conditions that would give us a whole new understanding of how life can evolve in ways we have never thought possible. And let's not forget about the lights themselves. What if the technology powering them is something far beyond our current understanding? We are talking about the possibility of energy sources we cannot even conceive yet. Antimatter, reactors, zero-point energy are harnessing the energy of their star in ways we have only dreamed of. The intensity and spread of these lights could offer some serious clues about the level of technology this civilization has achieved. If they have tapped into energy sources that are far beyond anything we have come up with, it could totally redefine what we think is possible for our own future. There is also a fascinating cultural angle to consider. The distribution of these lights across the planet could give us a peek into society's structure. Are the lights spread evenly? If so, it would suggest there is a highly connected global society. But what if the light is clustered in certain areas? Then it would hint at the existence of city-states, nations, or factions. The patterns could reveal a lot about how this alien civilization functions, from urban planning to technological priorities. Understanding how this alien society operates would be important if we ever do make contact. Are they peaceful explorers eager to share their knowledge and culture, or are they isolationists, choosing to remain hidden from the rest of the universe? Their light suggests a civilization that is advanced enough to possibly engage in interstellar travel. If that's the case, they could have already explored other planets and star systems beyond Proxima Centauri. Another question that keeps popping up is the timing of this discovery. Proxima b 
is only 4.24 light years away, which means the light we are seeing now left the planet just over four years ago. That's almost real time in the grand scheme of space. This raises the possibility that any civilization on Proxima b could be at a similar technological stage as us right now. They could be facing the same societal challenges or working on the same advancements, but in an alien world, alternatively, they might be a much older civilization that's already hit its technological peak or even collapsed with the lights being the last remnants of a once great society. The sheer proximity of Proxima b means that communication, while challenging, would not take as long as we might expect. With a light year delay of just over four years, it is almost instantaneous compared to the centuries or millennia it would take to communicate with civilizations in more distant parts of the galaxy. If we ever establish contact, it could be the beginning of something truly transformative not just for us, but for our understanding of life in the universe. So what are the possibilities we would be able to contact with this new species? The possibilities, the possibilities of making contact with an alien civilization on Proxima b are staggering. If we send a signal out, we can receive a response in just nine years. That's the potential here. For the first time, humanity could engage in a real-time conversation with another intelligent species. Of course, the logistics are a whole other story, like what language would we use? How would we even ensure that we understand each other? These are big challenges, but the short delay in communication makes it a lot more realistic than ever before. And then, what about their technology? We have already seen city lights. What other types of signals or technologies could exist on Proxima b that we have not yet detected? This could be just the beginning. Maybe they have massive engineering projects that produce gravitational waves or something equally mind-blowing. Every new discovery could offer us a deeper understanding of their technology. And who knows, maybe it is a road map for our own future. Another huge question is who or what lives on Proxima b. If this civilization is advanced enough to produce artificial lighting, it is safe to assume they are intelligent, but their biology, that's likely something entirely different from anything we have encountered. Proxima b orbits a red dwarf star, which means its environment is pretty extreme. The inhabitants could have evolved unique biological features to survive in such volatile conditions. Or maybe they have merged biology with technology, becoming a post-biological society where machines and organic life are mixed to create a new species. This also opens up an interesting discussion on intelligence. For centuries, we have defined intelligence based on our own experiences. But what if the life forms on Proxima b have developed intelligence in a totally different way? Maybe they operate on a hive-like consciousness or have a collective intelligence that functions on principles we cannot yet grasp. This could redefine what we consider intelligence and even shift how we approach AI and machine learning here on Earth. And if we are thinking big, Imagine the possibilities of cultural exchange. If we establish contact, the potential to share knowledge, ideas, and innovations with an entirely different species is mind-blowing. We could learn new forms of governance, philosophy, art, and science, ideas that have evolved under completely different circumstances. The collaboration could start a renaissance of creativity and thought for both species. So what do you think? How should we approach this new discovery? Should we make contact with this extraterrestrial life or not? Tell us your opinions in the comments below. If you want to hear more shocking stories, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we have got a lot more of this. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.